anywhere in the 21230, you've got to get to Barracudas. Not only is this food so fresh and so amazing, they have one of my favorite outdoor spaces in all of South Baltimore. And they're back and even better than ever after a recent renovation. So if you want to hear more and see some of this delicious food, let's go inside and meet the owner. As a busy mom, realtor, and someone who just likes to have fun, I am always on the go around Baltimore. Whether you're new to the area or you've been here your whole life, I wanna show you my favorite places to eat, play, and live around 21230. I'm Allison Hudler with Cummings & Company Realtors, and this is the 21230 Show. Billy! Hey, what's up, baby? <laughs> Good to see you. Thanks for having us it's today. Just some time, I got some peaches right yes. from the farm. I'm gonna make you the seasonal peach crush. Fresh peaches, I, I knew you were wait. coming, so I got ready for you. Yay, I'm so happy, thank you. Yeah, have a nice cocktail. Yum. How you been? Good, doing well, thanks. How are awesome. you? Very good. Are you excited for these uh, fresh, <laughs> hot <laughs> summer? Oh my God, Woo! Yeah. That's a lot of vodka in there, oh, thanks, Oh, come on, Billy. it's a three count. That's what normal <laughs> is, right? <laughs> Looks amazing, thank you. Absolutely. So Billy, yes. uh, we are so excited to talk to you today, hear all about Barracudas, all the fun stuff that you guys are doing here that you have done in the last couple years. Uh, tell us about you, the restaurant, well, look, everything. We want to know everything. It's exciting to be back. Yes. I couldn't be happier, you know, grateful to be back. Mm -hmm. And the support from the neighborhood has been amazing. Yeah. And being here in a new, same area, but, but brand new and beautiful, brand new bar. I got upstairs for happy hours and parties and whatnot. Yeah. Which we've used a lot. We, we opened August 22nd. So, yep. you know, almost a year. And uh, we're gonna go from here. And uh, I got a lot of, lot of really cool areas. I, I was able to do a lot with the space that I always wanted to do, but just could never close to do. Right. So, um, you know, a little investment, but always worth it. Yes, Cheers. for sure. Cheers. Thank you for this. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. that's so good. One of, that's my favorite. Peaches always It's so good. Yeah. I saw it on the sign coming. I'm like, yes, peaches <laughs> back. Mm. So good. So but, good. Well, you pick all these fresh. Yeah, yeah. I part, partnered with uh, Bert, S.C. Bert the Farm. Mm -hmm. It's out on Carford Road, okay. um, right above Gunpowder. Yeah. And beside me, Mr. Stanley, you know, beautiful farmers, old, old as hell. And, uh, <laughs> and we get up, and she gets on the four wheeler and still goes out and gets stuff with she me. She gets and, on the four wheeler. Yeah, Heck yeah, 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 girlfriend. I get out there and help irrigate and help plant and pick. And oh my gosh. Just get out of here for a bit and clear my head. It's a, yeah. nice, it's a nice little uh, retreat. So. That's so good. And I get the fresh stuff. It, so. You do. And it, like, we joke, we buy our, or not buy, but like, we get our own meals. My husband comes with the kids. and. We always want to eat the pizza because, like, your red sauce is just so fresh and yeah. so amazing. And oh my gosh! You know, I won't use tomato sauce so on picking. So yeah, that's people, awesome. Like, why don't you have a tomato on, you know, sandwich? I want to well because it's not time it's yet. Not fresh. <laughs> it's not time yet. That's so that's good. That's where we are with that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. And how long have you guys been open here? Well, we reopened on the twenty second. But um, even before then, before like originally. Before then, yeah, two thousand nine, October two thousand nine. Yeah, That's so great. quite a while. Yeah. We had the bridge closure was the first hurdle. Oh my god. And we got through that with the help of the neighborhood, you know, always yeah. giving support. Yes. Which they always have and hopefully always will. Yeah. And then uh, you know, of course COVID, which we won't speak about, and then the fire, which was uh, you know unexpected right outside of that. So I know. we've had our struggles and our hurdles, but we get over them. Yeah. We and keep going forward. I loved I mean not that I loved when you had the fire, but yeah, seeing the community support, being in the basement of the church, all of that, like Yeah, God's you, basement. That was you fun. still <laughs> had amazing food and the yeah. jerk chicken pasta, oh my god, it's you That's know. I took that off the menu once. Oh gosh, no. And no, I no, thought no. people were gonna be here with pitchforks and tires. <laughs> <laughs> like they were pissed. So that's back on, obviously. Good. Yes, yeah. of course. So I that's one of our favorites. Yeah. And I mean what's your inspiration behind all of the food and everything you do here? Well, Just fresh. I grew right? up uh, in Holland Town, East Baltimore. Mm -hmm. um, my great grandmother's from Calabria, southern southern Italy. Yeah. My grandpa's from Rome. Wow. Um, so I spent a lot of time as a child, you know, latchkey kid with my great grandmother in her garden and in her kitchen. Yep. You know, and Saul would say, Adelina, what's he doing in the kitchen? He's step a Zeta, Saul, he's with me, right? And then I would, you know, I'd, I'd be there with her making, you know, picking feathers off a chicken, you know? Yeah, wow. Watching her do everything. And it was just, it was so intriguing to me and beautiful. And then in her garden, you know, she made me pick roses, clip roses, bring to the nuns at the rectory with Pompeii. 
try to get me out of detention. Sure. It never Good. worked. Yeah. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't work. So it was it was cool though. It was, That's awesome. Uh, it was it was a special upbringing, and uh, I was very fortunate to have such a. I mean, she can cook this bar top and melt your mouth. Wow. And it's cement. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I was very fortunate in that aspect to have Good. such a, a, a beautiful role model and a beautiful person mm -hmm. in my life so long. So, that really is special. Lucky, so. Good. That's where all the, the flavor, the gardening, and all that yeah. stuff comes from and all that, you know, the, the love and care. I mean, it's like, I love it. Absolutely. I actually love to do it. And yeah. that's what makes it, to me, so beautiful. Yeah, you know? yeah. I actually love it. So. Good. And I'm sorry my kids sometimes throw rocks in your plants. <laughs> I know that really annoys you, and I try so hard to keep them hey, look, kids out. kids are going to be kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for at least having the kids. I remember that one day we were here eating the pizza, yeah. and they were just on the ground, both of them, not even at the table, oh, just the sitting greatest, on the ground. The greatest picture ever. I still have that picture. Yeah, we need, you need yeah, to send that to me. To, yeah, I'll put it on Facebook. They, oh, I need to look it up. They're just covered <laughs> in pizza sauce, and like it was yeah. so cute just under like, the, the pizza wall. sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what's funny, actually, my youngest, um, he, obviously, like, you're not really known for pizza, right? right? But he sees you and he says, pizza, pizza. <laughs> That's like, cool. He knows and actually, gotta... like, uh, I was having my shell. I used to do my shells in house. I used to make the dough and do mm. it in my house. But I just got too busy. I'm so yeah. small. My kids said, couldn't yeah. do it. So I had my recipe subbed out. And then the people that were doing it couldn't do it the way I wanted them to. Right. And then Pizza to Joey, right? My buddy. He goes, I'll do them. I went, yes. Okay, so awesome. That's my, and now we do the pizza night on Mondays and with a bottle of wine, 25 yes. bucks. I mean, it's a great deal, right? It's awesome. And the pizza's fresh. Everything's so fresh. Good. It's oh so good. Oh my nice. gosh. The sauce, Crisp, I take it over it. Great cheese, yeah. great, great sauce, everything fine ingredients, right? Yes. I don't do too much with it, but you use the best stuff. So that's what always keeps it the quality. You know, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't play too much with it. I just use no, the best No, it, well. it's always amazing. Keep it simple. Definitely. Yeah. Nice. And your drinks, so tell us you've got, um, I mean, obviously, fresh crushes, like what about your bar menu? What are yeah, you guys I mean, it, into? It, we stick to, this, to, the, to the regular, to the basics, yeah. um, as far as our mixed drinks, but then we have specialty crushes every every season. Mm -hmm. There's something coming from the farm. Yeah. If there's not, there's some kind of cool fruit that I get. Sure. Whether it be a cucumber, you know, or, yeah. or a pomegranate, you know, we're gonna do something different all the time. Now, this season's my favorite because Delicious. there's something new every couple weeks, you know? We yeah. get strawberries, the blueberries, now peaches, Next is watermelon, yeah. cantaloupe. I mean, we're gonna have all kind of fun with it. Yeah, yeah it's awesome. Yay! Well, do you want to head down to the kitchen yeah, let's and do so. look at some of the food? For sure. So, yay! For sure. We're gonna start. We got the pizza. It's part baked. That's from Pizza to Joey. And then I'm going with the sweet and hot peppers. Adelina's sweet and hot peppers. My great grandma used to make these. And we used to fight over them. With a little Italian bread and hard, hard provolone. It's the way to go. So just that, that, some fresh basil when it's done. And then we're going to do a little, little mozzarella, a little mozzarella, and some Reggiano. And then that's going to go. 550, right here. Shrimp, we're gonna get a little bit of flour on them just to make the sauce tight. And then we're gonna lay them in. So while that's going, let me twist this pizza a bit so we get a good, even burn. Once that's in and going, we're gonna put the garlic and the onion in. Lots of garlic, a little bit of onion. A little pico. And a little fire roasted salsa. Get that going. Get that come up. Finish with butter. And a little share. Butter is the best. And a little sherry to finish. Bring that to a nice simmer and boil, and then we're gonna plate that. And both pizza should be done just about the same time. Shrimp's almost there. So I'm gonna take this guy. All right. She's a done. Done. 
So this is going to be a special this weekend. It's uh, shrimp on fire. Yeah. And that's going to be a nice little appetizer. All right. And here we go. There is the sweet heat pizza. You get a little fresh basil on top of that. And then just a quick slice. Little six pieces. Here Let's we go. do this. Oh my gosh. How do you come up with your items? Obviously it's all um, fresh, but like where like how do you just think of this or I uh <laughs> You know, I've been around for a long time. Yeah. So when you, you get to the, get the throw nice stuff together and play with it, sometimes it comes out phenomenal. Sometimes okay. you're like, okay, that didn't work. Yeah. But it's always about playing with the item and, yeah. you know, seeing where you are with it. And if the flavors combine well, which you're going to kind of know, right? Sure. you got a palate. But yeah. um, after that, it's just about trial and error. That's awesome. Well, let's try it. All right. <laughs> so for those who haven't been here, right? how do they find you? Well, what's your address? It's uh, 1230 East Ford Avenue. Okay. <laughs> it's in Locust Point. Yep. Literally the best neighborhood in Baltimore City with the greatest people. And we also, we have our website and the Instagram page and all that mm -hmm. fine stuff. So, yep. so we're, make we're, sure we're, you, we're available. Yeah, make sure you check these guys out. Facebook, Instagram, like them, follow them. Food's incredible. Um, outdoor spaces are great. Well, it's nice out. I mean, yep. we're sitting out here. You've got all these awnings. It's hot today, but the like brand it feels new back, great. That crush bar, yes. You know? The crush bar is amazing, yeah. and I know you said you wanted to do some events and yeah. But in September, I think we're going to be doing like a uh, Thursday or Wednesday or Thursday barbecue night, mm -hmm. where I'll do like all inclusive barbecue and draft beer and crushes. So fun. For a set price, and you know, six to nine or whatever it mm -hmm. may be, but we'll figure it out. We didn't even talk about the welcome to the neighborhood shot. Pineapple macerated vodka. Love what it. Can go wrong. Yes. So. Shaking up and giving to everybody for a welcome to the neighborhood, first time here, or birthday, or any kind of celebration, or if it just looks like you need one. Really, actually, it's my birthday today. Oh, is it? No, I'm just <laughs> I wish it was. But yeah, I mean, the pineapple is a symbol of hospitality. So when I saw pineapple right. vodka, welcome to the neighborhood, like yeah. that's so fitting, and I love that you do that. Yeah. Um, it's got a special place in my heart. So, yeah. Well, thank you so much, and yeah. I appreciate it. Please enjoy. I'll keep eating. Don't you, worry. You keep eating. But thanks so much for having us. Absolutely. Um, can't wait to let everybody see what Barracudas is all about. So make sure you come on out. Obviously follow on social, but just get here in person because the food <laughs> will speak for itself. Billy's great. Everybody here is really wonderful and we love it here. So thank you very much. Thanks, Hope to Billy. see you soon. Yay. Thanks. Thank you, Barry. Yay. Appreciate it. Thanks.